Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today in Mule 4, we will learn how we can read a file. And for our example, we will be using a CSV file. And we will try and loop over its records. So for example, if our file have 10 records, we want to loop over with each record and do something with the table. And for that, we have a file module that we have to import into our Mule palette that we will be doing just, just right now. So let's begin. So I have created this project, uh, read CSV file. And from this add module section, we'll click on this add module and we'll drag and drop this file like this. And in this file module, we have these event processors and these operations like copy, create directory, delete, list, move, read rename write so we will be using on new or updated file as we can use this one as a source uh, of our uh, of our entire mule application you can use this particular operation as a trigger point of our application read mostly works as a sync read like like we have sync read operation and so on here we have this read and this on new or updated file is like a polling file once we configure it, that means this particular event will be listening to a particular directory and in the moment we have a certain file there, it will hold that file. So let's begin. I'm going to drag and drop this to the new canvas. Here this flow has already been created, we read CSV file flow and this is our on new or update file event and we will need to configure that event here so for our this demo we will be reading one csv file so let me demonstrate you how that csv file looks at the moment so i have this dummy csv file that i have downloaded from the internet if i open it So it has 10 records, so one is header and it has 10 different records with different policy IDs here. So we will be first reading this file and then we will try to loop over with each records using the for each event processor of me. So we would like to keep this mule read file as the directory where from where we want to pull the file. So here we'll have to do some basic configuration for file adapter or file connection. Click on this connection, we'll give the working directory as this directory we will read file. We we'll click on OK. Here also in this directory also we will give the same directory. And here under the matcher we can give different matches for the file that we wish to hold or read as part of this particular connection we usually most commonly used is this uh, file name pattern so let's say i want any file that is of csv and this should this should suffice the purpose for this connection and we do not need to put anything else this auto delete thing yes we want to delete it and we do not want to move it anywhere else so we'll read that file and we'll process it. So for example, here let's just see if it will work, if it will be able to log the payload or not, what we have received from there. So let's test. So I'm going to run this particular new application. And at the same time, let's keep this read section here. Once it is deployed, it will pull that file and it will try to log the content of that file. 
it is now deployed and it has logged all the 10 records that we have here this is the header on the top and these are the 10 records all right so now at the moment this what we see here is more like a string rather than an array however to loop over something it has to be either a map or an array or a list linked list or something like that so to do that we will have to transform this payload to json and as shown in our previous tutorials as well how do we do that we have this transform message event which is the data weave code we need to use this one here we will just say payload and this we will change it to json let's save it it will reinitialize and start the application and here we can put that file again and here as you can see we have an array of json and how do we know for a fact that this is an array let's loop over these records and see how it works so for that we have an activity called for each which is part of core module so let's drag and drop it here under this for each what it will do is it, it will start the counter from one and from the array it will take the first index and second and third and for this for each every time the payload will be of that particular index only so if i put logger inside this so it will load 10 times that particular uh, file content so each id will be logged one by one rather than everything in one piece of array so let's test it and just for the understanding purpose let me put another logger here and in this logger i'll just put some stars so that it will be distinguishing between the different payloads that it is being passed and what we can see on the console let me clear the console for now and let's put that file again And here we have this logger work started first ID and then we have this logger the second logger gets executed and now we have the second ID this you can also write to a certain location if you want and do that we have this write operation of file to module so let's do that one to write also we'll have to connect we'll have to do the basic configurations of this file so there is a location called new write file that i have here i have on my local machine so let's use that one and here in this in this path uh, we can give the file name and to pass the file name dynamically let's use this payload dot in the console we can check the key is policy id let's copy that one and payload dot policy id so whatever that is we want it and here as the data is in json so let's write a json file and we want to write the payload only and we want to override whatever the let's save it the error is vanished we don't want to log it anymore so we can remove those loggers from here now let's save it and in this we also give the frequency here it is 
thousand milliseconds at the moment. Let me just do it like three seconds rather. Let's do that change as well. And in the console, if you log in, reinitialize, and start the application, it did it. And let me put that file there again. After three seconds, it's vanished, and we have these ten JSON files created with one ID, with one record each. So that's how you read a CSV file, transform the data into an array, and write that file. If you want to write a CSV file only rather than the JSON file, we can again use the transform tool here, and you can change that. CSV. Now in CSV, as we do not have key and pair, so this particular this particular expression will fail. So what we can do is to get that sorted, we can set it into a variable before transforming it back to the CSV table. Set variable. dot csv because now we want to write a csv file right so under this write option rather than this we will use where store and that variable that we have created so all these basic commands you can check out that uh, session number three of our tutorial series where we discussed all these payload attributes and where keywords and these basic concepts so Let's see if it is deployed and reinitialized. Yes, it is started. And now let's copy this file from here and put it into this reader. Click on, and we have CSV files created. So that's how you handle a CSV data and how you manipulate data from one format to another using data v and in subsequent tutorials we will be handling xml payloads as well and converting from xml to json json to xml is a bit trickier than csv to json and vice versa so we will be covering that in um, in future part of these tutorial this tutorial series so this is it for today's session and i hope you liked it it was a very simplified example of uh, for each and how you can convert data from one format to another using data we and thank you so much for your time take good care of yourself and have a nice rest of the day bye bye